I would like Uker Poshta to be completely computerized so that it can provide quick, modern and convenient services to all customers. And I want all the services to take seconds to process, not even minutes. Uker Poshta plans to overhaul all departments to make customer services more convenient. Things have been improving so far. Salaries have increased. Everything became better and more convenient. Going to the office and working has now become quite a pleasant experience. Postal service clerk Yulia helps citizens who come to Ukrpochta choose the right services every day. The national operator of Ukraine has 11,000 postal facilities and provides nearly 50 different kinds of services. The company employs over 73,000 people. Mailmen, operators and sorters provide the delivery of roughly 200 million postal items a year. In addition to that, new services are being introduced every year. The company is being actively reformed. We provide services to consumers. They send and receive domestic and international parcels. We send parcels across Ukraine every day. Many people use our services and we're trying our best to provide them with better services. The main goal of the reform is to transform the Soviet-type state asset into a modern company and become the leader of the postal market. Efficiency, transparency and profitable service – that's how the management sees Ukrpochta in the future. We must find a model that would allow Ukrpoch to be an independent structure, which won't depend on grants, and it will be able to provide all those services operating according to the principles of a modern independent business model. Igor Smilansky is the head of the new formation. He spent 17 years working in the field of strategic, managerial and financial consulting in various companies around the world. In 2016, he won the tender for the post of director of Ukrpochta among 48 candidates. He admits that he did not fully understand the state of the company. Indeed, the technical condition was much worse than I expected. Out of 11,500 branches, just 20% had at least one computer. Just one. Then over six consecutive months, we found out that 20% of those were more than 20 years old. In other words, there were 286 computers that were obviously not functional. The internet speed in Kyiv branches was 128 kilobytes per second. When I asked them how many vehicles they had, 3,600. I said that was cool and then asked another question, how many of them were in working condition? Only 2,500. The company told us that in order to fix the situation, they needed a lot of time and investment. On March 1, 2017, the state enterprise was corporatized. Now Ukrpochta is a public joint stock company with 100% of its shares owned by the state. This became an important step in its organization. We have adopted an investment program and currently, if the average age of a vehicle in 2016 was 14 years, today it is 9 years. We have introduced a computerization program, the goal of which is that every village in Ukraine with more than 2,000 residents, which is about 2,600 villages, has a computer with internet access. And I am confident that we will fully achieve this goal by the end of the first quarter of this year. Uker Pashta told us that it turned out that buying the computers was the simplest part of the project. Only 60% of villages have internet access, so now the issue is finding a communication channel to connect the computers. Another issue is finding skilled personnel. There are 7,000 villages with a population of less than 100 people in Ukraine and 10,000 villages with a population from 100 to 500 people. In other words, 10 million Ukrainian citizens live in villages with a population of less than 2,000. Together with large villages, those make up 16 million people. It is also the specifics of providing services, since there is no infrastructure there. Last year, a pilot mobile post office project of Ukrpochta was launched in Chernihiv. The goal of the reform is to provide high-quality services to villagers. The reception of the innovations of the National Postal Service is lukewarm so far. The Kozilets County was also included in the project.
The main purpose of any reform is to improve services for the population, improve their lives and bring the services as close to them as possible. So far, we have several cars that deliver pensions and press. Naturally, they won't be able to deliver press on a daily basis. There will be delays, but we're working hard in improving the situation. As far as the delivery of pension payouts is concerned, I believe the situation will be much better. Olena Dmitrenko, head of the Kozales territorial community, says that she's cautious when it comes to such innovations. After all, a village postman is not just a worker that delivers periodicals and pensions. They also serve as a medium for simple human communication for the elderly. Ukraposhta explains that they are changing the format of village services to solve the issue of low-quality service. Postmen will no longer have to walk and unprofitable branches will be closed. The number of services for the population will increase. The reform will be implemented entirely at the expense of the enterprise. I'm sure it's the only way to unite the country. Moreover, it's a way to provide modern services to the elderly. For example, if the state wants to deliver medicine to a pensioner, would a postman be able to do that? No, they would not, because if they have to walk 8 or 10 kilometers in the summer, their bag won't maintain the required temperature of the medicine. It's the same in winter. The medicine would be spoiled. But if they had a vehicle equipped with a fridge, they would be able to deliver the medicines without them spoiling. Spoiling. If we had vehicles, some old lady could order a tea kettle or a microwave oven. Post office number 03150 in Kyiv was renovated in 2018. Prior to that, this post office had no central heating. Employees told us that it was very cold working there, but now it is a modern, well-lit and cozy postal office that pleases customers with its design. The branch employs 47 people, 15 of them are postmen. In addition to that, the branch has 14 distribution stations that service two districts of the capital, Holosivsky and Pucherski. We have an electronic queue. It shows our clients which window to come up to. We made financial business and pension payouts more convenient. Now pensioners don't have to stand in the same line with those who came to pay for utilities or receive a parcel. There is a separate window for different services. A separate workplace was made for legal entities, so now they can send mail without having to stand in line. Maria has been working in communications for over 10 years. She says that almost 1,000 customers use the electronic queue every day. It is very convenient for both the customers and employees of the office. Changes are taking place in the form of renovations, wages and the working schedule of the branch. Sending correspondence is being simplified. We now have thermal labels and printers. This makes it more convenient for clients. It just takes a moment to print the address. Previously, we had to write all that on paper. Transfers are now modernized, as well for the processing of information. Filling out forms is difficult for old people. Now clerks fill them out according to the information a customer provides verbally. Then they check it, sign it, and it is dispatched immediately. From now on, postal mailings are carried out much faster. There are different ways of sending mail – express, standard, and via smartbox. On top of that, you can pay with your credit card, a service that was not previously available. After all, the country is gradually switching to cashless payments. Reform of the company continues. As for legislative provision, parliamentarians are yet to pass two more bills directly related to the operation of Ukrposhta. The first bill is about the ability to open bank accounts for citizens. Currently, 40% of Ukrainians or more don't have a basic bank account. 40%. Why? Because there are no banks and villages with 200 residents. Only the post office is able to provide banking services there. On the other hand, providing such services brings in earnings that we can use to pay our employees and invest money into further development. Another desirable bill for Ukrposhta is the opportunity to sell real estate that we don't need. To date, 87 of the most well-known postal companies in the world are banks. After all, post offices are the last bit of civilization in villages, where a company has to provide a full range of services – financial, banking and postal delivery services. So the combination of business approaches with the social function of Ukraposhta is the main task for the joint stock company today. The company strives to continue changing, modernizing its post offices, providing its customers with high-quality service and becoming the best company on the Ukrainian market.